German Panorama in Color newsreels were produced monthly during 1944 and 45. They were shown in both neutral and occupied European countries. The content of this episode from early 1945 includes Grape Harvest Along the Rhine Cattle Driving in the Bavarian Alps The Departure of German Troops from Finland A Flak Battery in Action in Norway The German Red Cross and the Treatment of Wounded Soldiers and POWs. The Preparation of Future Luftwaffe Soldiers. With a rare 1945 periodical, we'll see how the newly invented helicopter was intended to be used in combination with U-boats. Of course, I'll also throw in some early footage of helicopter trials to bring it to life. Use the timestamp in the description to navigate through the content. Weinleser am Rhein im sechsten Kriegsjahr. bayerischen Alpen. Wenn das Vieh zu Tal geht, naht der Winter. Wie ein letzter sommerlicher Gruß wirkt der bunte Schmuck. über den Königssee.
letzten deutschen Truppen verlassen Finnland. ist erreicht. Begegnung mit Lappen. Deutsche Flakstellung in einem Norwegenfjord. Aufklärer vor dem Start. Flak bei der Abwehr eines sowjetischen Luftangriffes. Schlacht bei Solferino im Jahre 1859 gründete Henri Dunant jene Organisation, aus der sich später das internationale Rote Kreuz entwickeln sollte. Die erste Sorge gilt den Verwundeten. Ständig ist das Deutsche Rote Kreuz bemüht, das Schicksal der in Gefangenschaft geratenen Soldaten zu erleichtern. Verwundete werden an Bord des Lazarettschiffes Tübingen gebracht, das inzwischen durch die britische Luftwaffe im Mittelmeer versenkt wurde. Eisenbahntransport geht es in die Heimatlazarette. Ein Verwundetenheim am Gardasee.
deutscher Luftwaffe nachwuchs bei der Segelfliegerschulung. Schleppseil schwebt das Flugzeug in sein Element. Wie Möwen schwingen sie sich durch den Raum. If this collection is still for sale, you'll find a link to it in the description of this video. This is Periodical One from 1945 of the Signal series. That so few German editions were published at the end of the war makes it quite rare. The current market value of just this periodical is about $180. The picture to the right reads, a very strange aircraft hovers above the water. It's the new eye of the German U-boat. The higher it goes, the more it is able to see. Its details are described in the following pages. The eye of the U-boat is a tiny, motorless helicopter that is brought along on extended journeys. It's stored in a pressure-resistant steel round container, which is built into the top deck. Here we can see this new eye in the sky after its parts have been assembled. After just a few minutes, the onboard aircraft is ready to lift off, which happens just behind the conning tower. The helicopter is made up of a light seat, the control stick, and the propeller mechanism that is held together by light metal tubes. Connected by a cable, the helicopter is powered by the movement of the U-boat and is able to rise up to 300 meters in altitude. From there, the scout is able to reconnoiter the area around the U-boat for miles and can easily spot convoys or individual ships. This footage was taken in 1941 during trials of the helicopter. Obviously, this version has a motor. If this complete collection of 1944 and 45 signal periodicals is still for sale, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. Due to its slow movement and fragility, early use focused on reconnaissance duties rather than a possible role in combat. Notice, however, its similar form to modern attack helicopters like the Apache. Patreon supporters gain regular access to exclusive film footage. I encourage you to join our community. Thanks for watching.